Penn State is rolling right now. They've won nine of their last 11. Terry Padilla, Burt Smith, Byron Jarrett, our three officials, Amy Bonner, the standby official, and away we go. Texas out of the Big 12, Penn State out of the Big 10, and a trip to the Sweet 16 in Kansas City on the line. And the first possession, Funk misses the three. Uh, take him out, he missed the shot. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see a lot of that in the last game, but I love the play right out of the timeout. He's going to test, I mean, out of the jump ball, is going to test this Texas defense right away. Funk only missed two three-pointers against AM and Dylan DeSue unable to connect. And uh, it's going to be fun to unpack the matchups here today. We attended practice yesterday. Both coaches kind enough to let us in. A lot of game plan and strategy that uh, could be very interesting as this one unfolds. Penn State trying to do the Texas two-step. Take down AM and Texas in the same week here in Des Moines. Penn State, a very good three-point shooting team. They started 0 for 2, and we got a whistle inside our first foul of the game. And the Longhorns leader, Timmy Allen, going to the line to shoot a pair. And I think one way you can exploit this Penn State defense, they're very susceptible to one-on-one -on -one drives. So if you can get moving, get it shift, and then Houston, I mean, Texas is very good off the dribble with their guards, that they may have a slight advantage in that area. This is Timmy Allen's game, you would figure, especially on the defensive end, as uh, Jimmy pointed out. He is going to have the Jalen Pickett duty defensively. He missed three games with that lower leg injury in the Big 12 tournament. Came back in the first game Thursday in round one. That's going to be a travel, and that'll be Penn State ball. So he says he's healthy. We thought it was a minutes restriction. Rodney Terry was very clear. That he needs him to play better. <laughs> and he was kind of half kidding, but he's his leader. He rides him hard. And uh, he was sorely missed, even though Texas went on and won the Big 12 tournament. Well, isn't it funny how the player thinks one thing and the coach thinks it's something else? <laughs> Here is Pickett. No one like him in the game. Steady, patient, gets to the rim. He lays it in with the left hand. Not quick, not overly athletic. But the high IQ for the game allows him to play at an All-American level. And you saw the patience on that pick and roll to score. Here's DeSue. He stops short, knocks down the mid-range jumper. Active early is Dylan DeSue. He's a senior. He's from the Austin area. Town outside Austin, Pflugerville. 17 points for DeSue against Colgate. Longhorns had a pretty comfortable win. Colgate hung in there for a little while, and then Texas pulled away. Winter, he could have a big yes. one today. He's hit two buzzer beaters this year for the Nittany Lions. Cameron Winter is on the board. Yeah, Winter can be an X-factor for this Pitt State team, especially when all the things have been in the court. Ooh, look at the Sioux taking a page out of the picket book. And yeah, taking on the freshman, Kevin Jai. That looks like a... A matchup that Rodney Terry wants to exploit. Carr gets the switch back on to Funk, and now Pickett directing traffic. Pickett, first team All Big Ten, second team All America. Jai with the Sioux on him, with the left hand. No, there's Allen with the rebound. Texas wants to run whatever they can. That's a tough task against Penn State, though. Very disciplined team. They get back well. DeSue again, no. A lot of shots early for Dylan DeSue. Well, he's getting an opportunity, but those are high-value shots within the offense that DeSue is comfortable taking. Look at the hustle right there. DeSue, yes, knocks it off Pickett. That'll be Texas ball. Well, you see early that the high pick and roll, they're going to come out and jump on Pickett, but this time he's able to get downhill. Watch the help. So, it's not like this is new to pick it as far as having a number of bodies around, but these are long athletic guys for Texas that may be able to impact the scoring and passing. Oh, nice cut to the basket. Terry finds Hunter inside. Terry, excellent passer, facilitator. Got his guards run into the rim. Hunter was a star at Iowa State, newcomer of the year in the Big 12. He's taking a lot of heat here in Des Moines, Iowa. His coach was impressed how he's handled all of that after he transferred to Texas. Cameron Winter finds Pickett, not afraid to shoot it from three, no good. 
Penn State 0 for 3 from beyond the arc to start this one. Marcus Carr, first team all Big 12. Probing. Pull up, got it. This young man has been around. And that one right there in transition didn't like the initial look, but maintained his dribble, got to a spot, pulled up over a contested hand. Looking inside for Jai, disrupted by DeSue. Up ahead, here's Carr, kicks it to the corner, and is back toward Buddy Hunter, can't hit. Terry keeps it alive, back to Jabari Rice. He was the hot hand in their round one victory against Colgate. A third chance here for the Longhorns. Defensive rebounding has been an issue for Penn State all year. You give up two offensive rebounds. Another look offensively. You got to figure out ways that everybody get engaged, including the guards, in order to clean up those long rebounds. See Terry, no switch here. Timmy Allen staying right with Pickett. Here comes John with a screen. Allen fights through it, and it's going to be a block on Timmy Allen. And that'll take us to our first media timeout. We're off and running here. Big 10, Big 12, Penn State, Texas. And a trip to the Sweet 16 on the line in Des Moines. On the defending champs, Kansas is out in the second round. Let's send it to the third member of our team, Allie LaForce. Hello, Allie. Hey, Brian. Well, as you mentioned right before tip, this is one of the most experienced Texas teams. But as you know, experience doesn't always lead to chemistry. What's remarkable about the chemistry this team has is out of 12 players, they have two first year transfers, four second year transfers and five freshmen. They have one player that's been at Texas for four years. DeSue told me that it started this summer. It just felt different when they showed up. They were connected. Jabari Rice told me if there's one thing I'd say about our team, it's that we are together. He said there's no weak spot. There's no negativity. Every made basket, we're all up and cheering from the last person on our bench to our starters. It's natural for us, and we want to win this together. I love it, Ali, because that's a group of young men that understand who they are, and they accept their roles from the beginning, but also the continuity with the coaching staff mm -hmm. is also the key. That allowed them to weather the storm when Chris Beard was let go and Rodney took was able to take over. Rodney Terry, 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 Terry yep. assistant there. Remember, he was with Rick Barnes, yep. who's Tennessee Volunteers advanced today. Beat Duke. Miles Dredd gets it back in the hands of Winter. Penn State having a tough time shooting right now. 0 for 4 from 3. The mid-range is so put it. That's the king of the mid-range for the Nittany Lions, Cam Winter. Well, how do, how do you beat pressure? One, you're patient. You move pressure, but you have to screen pressure. That time, Winter waited. He allowed the pick to be set. Hence, he was now open. Two dribbles, 15-foot pull-up. Jabari Rice went for 23 against Colgate. He made seven three-pointers. Two-man game with Christian Bishop and a strip and a steal. Texas turns it over. Funk, he's got range for days. He misses again. Penn State 0 for 5 from three-point range. Sides to Hunter, lost the handle. Kyle saves it. Here's Carr now. And Rice left wide open. No good. One game to the next. It's, it's funny. The two guys that were extremely hot, Rice and also Funk last game, can't find it right now. But they're getting good looks, which is the key. It's like when you go out and fire a 63 on the golf course. It's not and then you shoot day, 80 bro. the next day. You know, a little floater. Look, even that part of it. At many a days, that's happened. Now, I haven't got a 63. <laughs> I've got below 80. But the next day wasn't that good, bro. <laughs> Here's Hunter working again with Bishop. Cunningham, the Austin native. He finds Rice. Oh, oh, mm -mm. Rice misses again. It's a fickle game, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a fickle. And that's why when you're in the pros, you think about it, the consistency you have to have to be that, to that player is amazing. Pick it. You hear those beeps. Trying to back down Carr. Carr stays with him. Backing him down. Quick turnaround. Nice feed. That's off of Mikey Hinn. And that was Bishop who got the deflection. Yeah, but Bishop can't come off the baseline. See, Bishop came over. Right there. Why are you coming over? Carr is already under. He has him under control. And if he doesn't tip it, that's a layup for yeah. him. We saw that in the last game. You're so tempted to want to help. 
and forget about your defensive principles that you end up giving up an opportunity. Texas was lucky on that possession. Pickett did not have a turnover. He played 40 minutes against a in round one. He's got three already. Wide open inside is Timmy Allen. And the Longhorns up 11 to 6. Penn State is 3 for 11 from the field with those three turnovers. They do not have an assist yet. Andrew Funk just took more dribbles right there than he did the entire game in round one Thursday, and he scored 27 points. Another deflection. Now, Penn State deals with length in the Big Ten, but Texas's length is frustrating them right now. Well, it is. The double team, the cut back door, Timmy Allen, easy to inside. Work really hard on this end of the floor defensively. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Good job, Allie. Thank you for that. Took over mid-December. Chris Beard was suspended without pay after his arrest on a felony domestic violence charge. He was eventually fired January 5th. Those charges were dropped. As a three-pointer from Miles Dredd falls. His dad, Aaron, wearing a microphone for us tonight. We'll see if we can get something from the Dreads from Detroit. Rodney Terry took over as the acting coach, then the interim coach, and he still has that interim label. Chris Beard named as the head coach at Ole Miss earlier this week. Offensive rebound, but a foul. So flying in there, Timmy Allen. And a Penn State foul. And that's already four offensive rebounds for the Longhorns. I mean, those things begin to add up and wear you down mentally. Timmy Allen's got five boards already, Jim. Two of them offensive rebounds. So Texas missing all five of their three-point tries. Three of those from Sir Jabari Rice. They've been able to cover, and they lead it by two. And the freshman Evan Mahaffey is in the game athletic at 6'6". Six, six. Number 12 in blue, yep. down underneath, gave him some good minutes against A&M. Rice, the one-footer, no good. There is Mahaffey with the board. You see his confidence rising. Mm -hmm. Penn State made it all the way to the Big Ten tournament title game. They went on a great run in the month of March as Pickett comes up short on the turnaround. A good contest that time by Timmy Allen. Got Pickett outside just enough to influence that shot. Carter guarded by Seth Lundy. Excellent defender out there. Inside to Sue. Pickett ends up on him. Another miss. That's a tough, that's a good mismatch and fine. Not a lot of space to work with that one. To see, you know, he understands that he has to finish that shot inside. Kanye Clary on the floor. He's going to have a big game. That was blocked by DeSue. Man, going up high to get the block. Two points in the last six minutes for the Longhorns. They're one of their last nine. And yet they lead by two. Penn State just four for 14. Timmy Allen. Transfer from Utah, the turnaround, no good. And another rebound for Evan Mahaffey. Clary, he's got a lot of speed. He's one of those Penn State Nippy Lions that can break down the Longhorns defensively. Mahaffey, take it on to Sue, kicks it, pull it, pass. Clary, he gets into the paint, ooh, shows it. He's got Mahaffey wide open with three to shoot, short. Gets his own, Mahaffey looking for help. Lundy, sidestep, three-pointer flies, no good. Well, these are good three-point shooters, and they cannot find the basket right now. One for eight, only Dredd has made a three for the Nittany Lions. Texas, the two seed, their highest seed since 2008 after winning the Big 12 tournament, beating Kansas by 20. Rice, jump step, lost it, and a foul. As Penn State gets in transition, a Texas foul to stop it. And you'll be on the edge of your seat, starting with NCIS, followed by NCIS Hawaii. 
Follow the twists and turns with back-to-back -back investigations starting Monday at 9, 8 central on CBS. Jabari Wright with the foul. Pickett's going to go to the bench with those three turnovers. Four for 16 start for Penn State. All those turnovers belong to their shorthanded All-American. Well, it's almost like a boxing match. You're going up against a different opponent, maybe a southpaw. You got to feel them a little bit. And then as you get to the later rounds, another offensive rebound, you can kind of figure out what you can do strategically against them. I think Penn State is going to have to do the same thing on what's going to work with them offensively as this long athletic team. Clary. Got Allen on him, can't shake him. Tough shot with the left hand, that one goes. Well, Timmy Allen did all he could. He made it hard on Kanye Clary, who played just seven minutes against A&M, but the matchup didn't really favor him. Could be different today. Tyrese Hunter gets in the lane with the left hand. And I talked about the one-on-one -on -one driving opportunities that could be an advantage for Texas. You saw it right there. Tyrese Hunter able to break down Seth Lundy, who is bigger, but he got up underneath him. Rodney Terry wanting his guards to get into the lane. Penn State, they play small. Half-court offense is slowing down. Most experienced roster in the NCAA tournament. As experienced as Texas is, Penn State has more. Winter somehow secures it. Bishop with a foul. And Cameron Winter, patient, stays with it. He'll have a couple of free throws when we come back. State and Texas. Micah Shrewsbury, second year at Penn State. Got a great history. Was six years an assistant under Brad Stevens with the Boston Celtics. He's got a Rondo-type player in Jalen Pickett. Very instrumental in the development of Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Moments ago, Micah Shrewsbury standing by with Allie LaForce. Well, Coach, your defense was contesting every shot, but how is their defense challenging you right now? You know, they do a good job of really staying out on everything. So we got to be better at, at our screens. I thought we've had some good screens. They make you drive. They make you attack the rim. We got to make better decisions at the rim, just like we did on this last one, getting them in the air, have them foul us, and now let's shoot some free throws. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Well, the interesting part of that, and I was going to say this, being a jump shooting team, you're not going to have a variety of opportunities to get to the free throws, and that's true for Penn State, only averaging about 12 free throw attempts a game. Okay? When you're struggling to shoot and score, the free throw line can be your friend, but when you're not accustomed to driving and getting those shots, can you turn the switch in a game like this to be able to utilize that line a lot earlier in the game and more in the game until you're shooting and offense can catch up with you. So we'll see. First trip to the line, winner knocks down the first. Two for two. Marcus Shrewsbury, he's connected to Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens, they've been lifelong friends. They were pals in Indianapolis, playing in open gyms and running camps together. But he's also connected to Matt Painter, was with the Purdue program as the associate head coach prior to his his job here at Penn State. And not only seeing his good friend and a lot of players that he was involved with go out yesterday, including Zach Eady, a 16-1 upset. FDU taken down Purdue yesterday as Jabari Rice scores it. It's also, it's been a tough day for Micah Shrewsbury, too. Oh, by the way, our guy, Robbie Hummel, feeling the effects of Purdue bowing out yesterday. Micah Shrewsbury watched his son play in the Sweet 16 in high school as Pickett hits the rim. So Shrewsbury's son Braden is coming to Penn State next year. They lost today in their playoff run. So he's hoping for a better result here tonight. He's connected with a lot of teams that have struggled here in the last couple of days and an unsettled start for Jalen yes. Pickett, Jim. And it may not seem like, I mean, a lot, but the timing of that for Pickett to throw that off speaks to the four turnovers, but being a little uncomfortable early in the game, that's an easy pass for him to make. And then Allen, off that turnover, gets to a spot within his offense and capitalizes. Allen's got five to go along with his six rebounds. Pickett with four turnovers. Penn State finished second in the Big Ten in the fewest turnovers a game. Lundy is a three-point shooter. He misses again. Good contest that time by Timmy Allen, though. Lundy's 0 for 4. Funk is 0 for 2. 
Nittany Lions one for ten. Touches by four with the ball. Rice leaves it for Bishop. A lot of oh, contact oh. there. Wow, Lundy hit the deck hard. Bishop oh. came right down on his legs. Shoulder to the floor. And Seth Lundy down in a heap in the backcourt. Well, take, take a look at the end of the play. It was the contact. Bishop falling back. Lundy taking the blunt of that contact. Oh. I'm telling you, the That's ankle, dangerous. leg, knee, elbow, shoulder. Take a listen here, Jim. You know, good thing he's strong enough, athletic enough to keep his head off the floor as well. That, that was the biggest concern, yeah, yeah. the snapback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he looks like he's all right, tending to him, making sure he's got all his faculties. And Seth Lundy will sit. 553 left. Penn State with a basketball. Jalen Pickett with Marcus Carr on him. Here goes Pickett now. They get, finally got a switch, and Pickett gets right to the front of the cup to lay it in. Never frustrated, never rushed. Okay. Haven't been able to be as effective, but yet and still he stays with who he is as a player. Finally able to see it go through the net. Carl, the Longhorns' top scorer. He gives it up to Rice, who's been their top scorer lately. And he knocks down a mid-range jumper. Needed to see one go through. Yeah, but that time Pickett had to help inside on DeSue. And that paused his closeout. And part Jabari did an excellent job of the pump fake and then one dribble puller. Clark a little hesitant there. Got Rice on him. Here goes Winter. He drives it. A little turnaround. That's his game. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So you have Ruck, you have Funk who's struggling, Lundy that's struggling, but Winter can get to his spot. And he's keeping the Nittany Lions close in this game. Ooh, nice little jump hook there by Dylan DeSue. It's a guy you highlighted early, Jimmy. Could be a big factor. His confidence rising as well. Been around a while. Was it Vanderbilt? Here goes Pickett again. Miles Dredd spots up in the corner. That's his spot. He's two for two. Here come the Nittany Lions. And notice this. Twice in a row, Pickett has been able to get two feet in the paint. Either he scored it, that time sucked in the defense, and able to kick it out to Dredd in the corner. So notice these passes, too, folks. These are passes with force on them. Mid-range jumper from Timmy Allen. Good answer. Allen off to a great start. The leader when they need him. He's got seven points. He's chipped in with six rebounds. Two of those offensive boards. Again, Longhorns switch it this time. Pickett got Rice on him. And that's going to be a foul on the floor. No shot. And so... Rice called for the foul. Timeout on the floor. A little physicality right here, but Jalen Pickett loves this. Able to get down. He'll finally be able to see it get through the net. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. Invesco QQQ, official ETF of the NCAA. And by Sonic. Mmm, Sonic. Penn State, Texas, as we take a look at our thrilling drives presented by Nissan. You're focusing in on Jalen Pickett here, Jim. Well, it takes a little time to figure out what your opponent is doing defensively, but now Jalen Pickett, twice in a row, has been able to find his sweet spot down the lane two feet in. That time he scored. The next time he was able to kick it to the corner for dread for three, so slowly starting to figure out a little bit of the nuances to this Texas defense. Texas done a good job defensively on Penn State. Pick it, back it down. Oh, look at Carr elevate with the block, but he's called for a foul. Wow. I'll tell you, that was, that was an impressive athletic feat by Marcus Carr. Spring loaded to get this block, but gets the foul. Well, you know what Brad Underwood called this after their loss in the Big, Big Ten tournament to Penn State? He called this booty ball. <laughs> that's right. you know, Use your assets, Jimmy. Use your assets, you know, but that's what it is because the beautiful thing about college, at 6'2", Pickett can back you down as no five-second rule. 
So unless you're going to help, now he can spray it out. If not, he can take his time and manage his way to the basket and get the shot that he wants sometimes without the infraction of a five-second call. Started at Siena, three years there. Average 17 points, seven rebounds, and six assists this year to Jalen Pickett. First team all Big Ten. Here goes Timmy Allen. Allen looking for Cunningham. Lippy Lions all around him. Carr with six to shoot now. And Carr rises up. No good. Rebound Pickett. Penn State can tie or take the lead. Pickett's got five boards. Pickett can fire it too. One of the top three point shooters in the Big Ten. But he is struggling from out there. Short. And that's going to be a foul on Penn State. They'll keep the ball on this end of the floor for Texas. 2.58 remaining in this first half. You can get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Baseline out of bounds for the Longhorns. Penn State with just two team fouls at this point. Texas has five. But a clean game as far as that goes. DeSue again high off the glass. Dylan DeSue with eight points. We talked about the he can have a huge role in this game and true to form reached in. Mm. Don't need that foul. Got him on the wrist. Long way from the basket. Yeah, those are the fouls you want to reserve. You want to be able to get somebody going to the basket. But a little pick and roll, not even a slip screen. The rotation is a little bit late to sue because he's already warmed up by making some shots. Was able to feel confident about that shot right off the glass. Next Texas foul will put Penn State at the line for a one and one. Pick it with Allen on him. Here's Funk. And Funk misses again. As hot as he was, he missed just twice. In the round one performance, 27 points. He's 0 for 3 here today. Rob Cunningham looking for DeSue, posting up. Mahaffey guards, double team comes. And now Carr for 3. Back iron, DeSue with the rebound. DeSue got it. And that's the challenge you have when you're, when you double, swing it quick and the shot goes up. Now you're scrambling to get out of that double team and you don't have bodies on bodies that lends itself to offensive rebounds what we saw on that play 10 and 5 for DeSue already double double against Colgate went for 17 and 10 Pickett runs into two and Carr picks his pocket Texas forces the turnover that's the fifth turnover for Pickett yep. Timmy Allen finds Cunningham three-pointer oh, in and out Pickett with the rebound that numbers four on five. Funk to Winter. Man, a little baseline I'm jumper. You, man, I, I had a feeling coming into this game because the focus was going to be on three point shooting, okay, and stopping that. Winters will have an opportunity, and the DeSue on that end, on this end, will be able to have it. Winters is four for four for 10 points right now. Got up just two field goals against AM in round one. Under a minute to go. Seven seconds to shoot. Here is DeSue, and he's got another one. What a half for Dylan DeSue. 12 of the 29 Texas points. I love it. The short pick and roll right there before the defender can get back to him. He was able to get a shot up and in. Kevin Winter at the controls. He's guarded by Hunter. Winter, step back three. Allen the rebound. Shot clock is off. Texas can take the last one if they want it. Strong defensive first half. Texas has frustrated Penn State. Protecting that three-point line as well. Nippy Lions just two for 13. Carr. That's a long two, and it's good. And the horn. Marcus Carr. Wanted that last shot, he gets it, and Texas, the two seed in the Midwest, up eight, going into the halftime locker room. Right, good defense, but more patience, and Marcus Carr bled the clock down, didn't panic, got to a spot, felt confident. Huge momentum boost for this Texas team heading to head court.
And that two for 13 number for Penn State, the best three-point shooting team in the Big Ten. A big story for the Nittany Lions in that first half, Jimmy. It was, but you got to give a lot of credit to this Texas Longhorn team. Defensive philosophy staying with the game. Why? Length, athleticism, but also the recovery period is not as long when you have an opportunity to shoot because of that length. Let's see what adjustments that Penn State can make in the second half. Well, Miles Dredd made both of his threes. He's a weapon. His dad, Aaron, wearing the microphone for us. Listen in. Starts on this end. Starts on this end, Blue. No, sir. Take that down that way. Shot ready. Couple of big personalities right there, Aaron and Miles Dredd. Detroit proud. Before we get into this second half, let's check in with Ali LaForce. You had a chance to visit with Micah Shrewsbury, Ali. I did, and even though the team is two for 13 from three, he is not concerned about the three pointers. He said, We talked about not turning the ball over, but Pickett has all of the turnovers, so he knows that's not going to happen in the second half, or at least he hopes it's not. He did say we have to do a better job on DeSue. He has to catch it farther away from the basket. It was part of the game plan. They didn't execute it well enough. I love it. The three pointer is not a problem, he's saying, but this is a problem. Yeah. Points in the paint for. Penn State and now that's 20. I mean for Texas that's 20 out of their 33 points are inside like I had to say this to Aaron Dredd had to get it in from the D what up though. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> what up though. That's appreciated. <laughs> yeah. 10 point Texas lead to Sue right away it goes to work on the other end. You can see that expression by Shrewsbury Texas at number two C pick it and one. Just takes his time he throws it into second gear. And able to score the basket, a chance at a three-point play. Well, at 6'2", he knows and understands how to use his body. Watch at the end, watch that shoulder. See that shoulder? That bumps Allen because he's sliding that way anyway, so he uses that momentum to create the space and the focus, concentration to initiate the contact and then finish. Penn State was squarely on the bubble at the end of February then they started this incredible run in March they won five in a row they knocked off NCAA tournament teams in all five of those games they made it all the way to the Big Ten tournament title game they lost to Purdue and then they come back with a resounding win as a 10 seed over Texas A&M a seven seed now Texas going to work Hunter inside lays it in getting some room to work in there and Hunter has six See the first round, second round comparisons. Both of these teams lit it up from the three-point line. And both really struggling in this one. Just two made threes. Penn State's got a bow. Texas being shut out. Second chance uh -oh. here. That was true from the time it left his hand is Andrew Funk. It's his first three-pointer. And the 10 losses during conference season for Penn State, it was a theme there. Mitchell, easy run to the basket. I think Funk thought he had help behind him. Yeah, well, another point pain, but with Penn State, it's their three-point shooter. They only shot it in those 10 losses, 34%. Sometimes it was less than that. When you shoot 39% for the year, and only at 34 will affect how you play. Pick it, lost the handle, got it on the rim, got his own rebound. Patient, back and down, Dylan Mitchell. And now Winter, 4-3. Mitchell flying high for that board. Dylan Mitchell, the freshman. Montverde Academy was a national champion there as a high schooler last year. Skip pass. Extra pass to Sue. And to Sue just rises up above everyone. That 6-9 frame. He's got 16 now, Jimmy. Penn State was certainly hoping to get Texas in their half-court game. A little fadeaway by Lundy. Boy, that is fun to middle as it gets and off the window. And he, as anybody, he needed that. He struggled yesterday with his shot. And now he's able to see one go in. Maybe that gets him, along with Funk, with their first shots going in. Started. Little zone defense right here. Carter. Wants to work with the suit. Never mind. Allen, what dangerous pass. Allen with Lundy on him. 
Dessou. A miss for Dessou. I like the switch up to the zone. That, you know, takes away some middle opportunities, but you got to be cautious when the shot goes up because you're playing an area, not a man, to defensive rebound and block out. Andrew Funk, 27 points in round one. Funk had eight made threes. He just knocked down his first. Kevin Jai gives it to Pickett. Five to shoot here. Allen done a terrific job on Jalen Pickett. Pickett got to go. One to shoot. And it's in. Jalen Pickett got that internal clock. Hey, wasn't pretty, but it was effective right there. He got to his spot once again, used his offhand off the glass. Texas lead is seven. Hunter and Carr working in the backcourt. Carr drives and a swat down from behind. Got a little too much risk. That's going to be a foul on Penn State. Don't have to be fast. Don't have to be quick. You just got to get to your spot <laughs> and know how to use the glass. Maybe seven degrees wind chill outside here in Des Moines, but in three weeks, CBS returning to Augusta National Golf Club, a tradition unlike any other. The Masters coming in April to CBS. Seven point Texas lead. And now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim. One of the best plays and players of the night, Dylan DeSue. Well, coming off a double-double last night, 11 shots, now he's up to 13. He has 16 points. Jabari Rice coming out of that timeout, gets a little bit range jumper to go. Texas by nine. Seven rebounds already on the cusp of another double-double, only two all season, but knew he was going to be a factor, not disappointing for Texas. Here's Dredd. Hit two threes in the first half. Pick it. Backing his way in. Kicks it. Funk open in the corner. Got it. And Rodney Terry looks at his bench. Asking how did he get so open? A defensive breakdown by the Longhorns. I'll tell you how. Pickett went baseline, he was open. Guys zeroed in on the ball and forgot, I don't know how, but he forgot <laughs> about Funk in the corner. And that's his first assist of the night by Pickett. Dessou taking on Dredd now, big body. But got a lot of height, and he just scores it easily over the top of Miles Dredd, who stands 6'4", trying to guard 6'9", Dylan Dessou. But he's big enough in regards to not go back and down. But if he gets closer to the rim, height will win, and maybe another assist, so not right there. Lundy bounced it to himself. Pickett comes away with it, and Rice strips Pickett. Another turnover for Jalen Pickett. Three-pointer flies. Air ball from Hunter. Penn State ball. Rodney Terry, <laughs> and you see oh, oh, hey, Aaron oh, hey. Dredd getting into the party. Let me tell you something. When you shoot a shot like that, Tyreek, you know, you hear everything on the yeah. court. Rodney Terry was calling Tyrese. Like, we don't need that. Tyrese put the silent ear on the left-hand side like he didn't hear him. And he didn't want to look at him because he knew it was a bad he shot. Knew. <laughs> yeah. Transfer from Iowa State. Pick it. Turns. Draws the double, extra pass. Oh, good. Here goes Clary. And now Funk to the basket with the reverse. So the shooter on a rim run on the back door. Penn State starting to get a little more action offensively. Michael Shrewsbury, you know he is a guy that can make adjustments. We've seen it all year long with the Nittany Lions. Carr rises up, missed the jumper. Lundy with the rebound. Penn State down six with the ball now. Pick it back it up. DeSue gets in there. And he's left wide open and lays it in. Carr vacated. Pickett's got 11. Timeout. Penn State on a run. Don't know how this has happened. How this happened. Back door, beautiful cut, but it opens up and then pick it. You lose it. You pay pick it, trying to find the rhythm, get Penn State back in this game. Only made four shots after halftime, BA. Oh, man. Charles Barkley going <laughs> under the table on that one. So, yeah, Purdue out, Kansas out, Houston advancing. They're the top seed in this bracket. Texas, the two seed of the Midwest. The follow. 
by Christian Bishop on the car miss in Texas. Coming out of that timeout, gets one on the board. They push their lead to six. We saw Arkansas advance. They beat Kansas. Going back to the Sweet 16 for their third straight year. Houston. Just one of two teams with Arkansas to go to the Elite Eight the last two years. Pick hit with Bishop on him with the left hand. No, Bishop back taps it to Hunter. And booty ball almost worked on that one against a taller Christian Bishop. Ooh, mismatch here. Falk trying to guard Bishop. He's got help. In rotation now. Good job defensively. Carr. No room. Lundy cuts him off. Now picked up by Pickett. And Carr hits a tough one. Carr's got game. Toronto, Ontario native. Started at Minnesota. Another one of the many transfers. Transfer and stay is the key for Rodney Terry and this Longhorn squad. They got six transfers in their rotation. Pick it to Dredd. Dredd. Get it out. Made his first two. He's missed his last two, Miles Dredd. Dredd trying to check Bishop. Jabari Rice for three. He's had a rough shooting game as well. After Jabari Rice made seven threes against Colgate. Right now, Rice 0 for 4 from beyond the arc. How about plus? Take a look at the game summary here. 0 for 10 from beyond the arc, Texas, and yet they lead this one by eight. Yeah, because they're able to dominate the paint. I mean, the value of having two-point shots. You saw Marcus Carr score. The value is, one, you can extend the lead. Two, you can cut down the lead. Or three, you're able to stave off your opponent's runs by hitting two. So they're valuable, evident in this game right now. Kanye Clary will run the point, allows Pickett to play off the ball, and here is Winter. He misses. And down to the ground. It's going to be a foul on Miles Dredd. As Timmy Allen back on the floor hits the deck. And that's just Dredd going after a good contest that time by Bishop. And actually, Allen runs into Dredd, mm. but Dredd at the end right there. Legs tangled up. Good physical play. Unfortunately for Dredd, it was a foul at the end. It's been a pretty clean game as far as the fouls go. Yeah, you know, Penn State only commits about a little bit under 16 fouls a game, so they play outstanding defense without putting their opponents to the free throw line. Carl misses a three. Winter tips it to Funk. Penn State down eight with the ball. Funk's going to let it fly just in front of the logo. And that's a rebound by Tyrese Hunter. Guards rebounding. Big bonus. Yeah. Texas leading in a rebound category. Boards 0 for 11. Rice still looking for his first. The shot fakes. Reset it with Allen. Carr's got Lundy on him. It's the mismatch they want. Allen up over Funk. And Lundy with the rebound. So Penn State gets out of the zone, go man to man, they get a stop. Normally you don't want to send your man middle, but Miles Dredd was sitting right there, so Funk shifted his position so that Timmy Allen would see that somebody was there in the middle. Pick it. Patient. Timmy Allen's done a great job on picking. Here's Funk now off the window. He lays it in. When they're going to play you to shoot, and you do have a little bop to your game where you can put it on the deck and go, use it to your advantage. And I love the decision right there. I love that decision Ooh. right there by Marcus Carr. Now, that's a play we saw early in the game that Texas was able to get off the pick and roll. As the help came, the back line defense of Penn State, that's Jalen Pickett. He was there for a second, then he came back out. That's his third foul. So put you in a dilemma. Do I stay with the roll man? Or do I get back to the shooter? That time he chose to sprint back out. That opened it up for Bishop. Christian Bishop. Transfer from Creighton. At the line. Two shots here for Texas. Penn State went on a little bit of a run. Texas had an answer. And the lefty misses the first. Tune in to Inside March Madness. Check out the play of the day presented by Buick Encore GX. You know, I, I got a chance to cover Christian when he was at... Creighton, and I talked to him yesterday after practice. And how much you love in Austin? And this is no shot at Creighton. He just said it was a different experience, but I love where I'm at. I love my team. I love my guys at Creighton, but this is a different experience for me. 
maybe a better opportunity for me. And he just had a big smile on his face the whole time. I mean, Austin, one of the great cities yep. in the country. Well, Who would want that? I was going to mention that. Uh, that. Uh, that. Uh, that. Uh, that uh, is fouled. I said, Omaha, Austin, well, he said, no, no, bro. <laughs> Austin, not the cold weather. It's, you know, I said, okay, I got you. Tell you, Omaha, not too far from here in Des Moines, they packed the house at Creighton as well. That's one of the great college basketball scenes going out of the Big East. Yep. Well, Texas, different story. You got a brand new arena, the Moody Center, intimate setting, big crowds all year long. Winter knocks down the first. You can watch CBS Sports HQ for free 24-7 coverage of the big dance and all of the biggest moments in sports. Catch tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and more. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Cameron Winter hits them both. Transfer from Drexel. Quiet game in round one against AM. Just two points. He's got 12 here tonight. Five-point Texas lead with the ball. Under 10 minutes remaining in regulation. And a trip to the Sweet 16 in Kansas City on the line. Lundy picking up Carr. Nice feed. Lundy able to guard two Longhorns right there. And Rice with the foul. They call it Lundy Island. And he's been able to check these Texas guards pretty well. Well, the back end of this is very good. And I say why? Because it was an outstanding pick and roll coverage defense, but Marcus Carr didn't, he did not discontinue his dribble. He maintained it, found the out opening and gap, attracted the defense and made the play. That's his patience. More importantly, Brian, that's experience from Marcus Carr to maintain his dribble. So much experience on the floor right now. All these players who have been in other programs, have been to the tournament. Sir Jabari Rice is on that list as Hunter will sit. Transfer from New Mexico State, his sixth year of college basketball. Red shirt, five years at New Mexico State, and here he is in Austin as we send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, he told me, I feel like I've been in college forever. I feel <laughs> old as dirt was the quote. He said, my teammates let me know all the time, too. Here's Lundy for three. Three-pointer is good. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You know, you get you get Penn State going from three-point range. Yep. AM found that out early, and it was a no contest. Timmy Allen in the block. Give it pick and a little bit of his own medicine. Yep. Timmy Allen. Give it back. Timmy Allen that time knowing that he had the size. And he got to his sweet spot right in the middle of the court. Pickett gets his step. Funk. Boy, Allen got everybody on the floor right now, but Funk hits a mid-range jumper. Smart, intelligent basketball. Pump fake. Maintain concentration through the contest. Four-point game. Jabari Rice, that's his first. Texas finally gets a three-pointer. Started 0 for 11. Right time, right moment for Jabari Rice to knock that one in. He, he's hesitated on a few, but not on that one. Pick it. Back and Rice down. Mismatch. Turnaround. No. Pick it. Normally cash from right there. Rice gives it to Carr. And now Texas will get it set up. Again, Penn State wanted to get Texas in the half court. That's how they felt like they could beat the Longhorns. It'll be Texas ball when we come back. 17 to shoot, just under eight to go. The two seed, the Longhorns. They lead it with possession when we come back. Nissan tip-off show, eight games across CBS, TNT, TBS, and True TV over 12 hours. Great fun, March Madness. And I agree, I heard Wally Zerbiak say this earlier today. There's a little extra pop with the tournament. I'm not sure the reasons. Maybe the transfer portal, a lot of experienced players knowing this could be their last run or just valuing the experience of being here. But there's a little extra spice to the tournament this year. Texas with the ball, seven to shoot now, dump it inside to DeSue. DeSue with dread on, just rises up, can't get the roll this time. Lundy kept it alive, he took a shot to the nose. Lundy, hey, but get up, take a shot. You know, I'm going to add an extra layer to that in regards to what you and Wally 
mention what Wally said about something about this tournament. You see two guys just fighting inside and ends up getting hit in the face. Because it wasn't really a dominant team this year, one that we could say was a clear cut favorite yeah. in any conference, maybe Purdue, but that opened the door to, okay, this tournament, anybody could end up in the Final Four. Anybody could yeah. end up in the championship game. And we've seen that come to fruition early with the two number ones being knocked out. And some other teams, Arizona going out, because it hasn't been a dominant team all season. Officials taking a look at this here, see if it is uh, going to elevate to the level of a flagrant. It shouldn't. It's a yeah, basketball just, play. Looks like it. And yeah, Terry Padilla, Bert Smith, and Byron Jarrett, I think they agree, but Terry Padilla going through all the angles gives Robbie Terry a chance to talk it over. Mm -hmm. Let me call it for you. They could just look over here. Yep. They I needed got to. Him. Regular foul. Play on. There we go. All right. So again, officials always come together. They establish the call that's on the floor, then they take a look and they check it. they check with the other official over here. And gave Jim me Jackson. The thumbs, gave me the Jim thumbs Jackson up. In, in the slimming stripes. <laughs> Gene Steratore is with us. You see anything there, Gene? I sure don't. And I want to work with JJ as <laughs> soon as I can, BA, <laughs> because he did that so definitively. Look, they're, they're just playing basketball. You've got two guys aggressively going up, you know, stand off. The ball comes in, a little contact to the head, but just calm and follow. It's a great job by JJ. Hey, man, yeah. I miss you. I heard you a lot. I said, we haven't been lucky enough to get him to tune no, to chime in yet. Now he came in. Hey, Jim Jackson looks good in everything, especially a referee's uniform. Put you all to shame. The suit goes up strong with the rebound. Lundy got it inside, couldn't finish it. Jabari Rice, that quick release. No. And Funk with the board. Approaching the seven minute mark. Seven point Longhorn lead. Here is Trey to get popped, and it goes! A chance in a four point play. Detroit. What up, though? <laughs> I'm telling you. It's just stay close if you're Penn State. You figure at some point, you know, the water lines begin to open up. You've been getting good shots and not a smart play by Allen. That's right. Oh, his dad, Aaron, is loving it. Fascinating story. Dre can't finish off the four-point play. He is a poet, legitimate poet. Miles Dredd has uh, won some awards in his local area at high school and in his early college days. He's been in the Penn State program from day one. Recruited in 16, arrived at 18. Good defense. Dredd allows it to go out of bounds. That'll be Penn State ball. And here come the Nittany Lions now. Texas, their lead is down to four. And Penn State, not a traditional big man in the game. Basically all guards. It's imperative that they gain rebound in the right way in regards to defensively, but this is where they can have an advantage, maybe offensively, by spreading the court. The Sioux ends up on Pickett. They don't switch it, get it right back. Got him in the air. The shot fake passed it to himself. Yep. And a foul on the floor here. Man, this guy, the toolbox is completely full. He had no chance. So he just passes it to himself off the backboard. But here's where Micah Shrewsbury's NBA comes into effect. Isolate and find where the mismatch is at. And that's going to be DeSue. The so they're going to try to get him into any situation to go at him, like right there. Dread. Okay. First shot, no. Pickett keeps it alive. Another chance here for Penn State. Dread in the corner. Yes! It's a one-point game. Does Texas have an answer? The two seed. This crowd's into it now. A very sluggish first half. Different story now as Rice goes to the basket in the trees. Pushed it. Can't get it. Lundy with the rebound. Penn State can take the lead. Closest it's been since midway through the first half. And that's an offensive, offensive foul. Yeah. foul. Uh, I figured he would call that. By the way, Jalen Pickett backed into him and used his hip to try to give the handoff. Watch him right here. Watch him step right into, yeah. If he just stays and turns, yep. it's not a foul. But that lean in right there 
dislodged Jabari Rice and didn't allow him his movement. Big call, big turnover. Pickett has seven turnovers. He's got all of them. Texas cannot convert. One and done for the Horns. Carr with the miss. Winter pulls down the board. Again, Penn State can take the lead. Texas' biggest lead is 11. Number 11, Winter on the drive. Foul. Tyrese Hunter is going to send Cam Winter to the line with a chance to give the Nittany Lions the lead. Oh, this is turning into a game. Watch whip around coverage of all these games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device. Fast break presented by AT&T 5G. It's in the March Madness Live app. You can scan that QR code to download. It's a must right now. What time? I tell you what, on that last possession, Michael Shrewsbury wanted to get that switch. He wanted to get Funk to come up and set the screen because he knew that on that, if you don't switch good enough, keep a body on Funk, he has a shot. But that allowed Winter to turn the corner and get on the inside. It's little nuances like that that allow you to get two feet in the paint. And that time, Penn State able to benefit off two free throws. Penn State in front. Maybe a little offense defense here with Pickett on the bench. He's got Evan Mahaffey to defend. Texas trailing. It's an 8-0 Penn State run. First lead since it was 4-3. Timmy Allen draws the double and throws it into the backcourt. Lundy runs it down. Lundy taking on Hunter. Penn State adds to it. The lead is three. Timeout. Rodney Terry. Been down all game, but guess what? You stay with it, you keep the game in balance, you make your run. Now you find yourself up three points. Let's see how Texas responds after this timeout. Texas 19-0 this year when they lead at the half. They had the halftime lead. They are now trailing by three. This is where they thrive, though. Rodney Terry leading Texas to a 7-1 record. Games decided by five points or less in overtime. And late is DeSue. DeSue going to work. That's the guy they're looking for on the offensive end. How about a 20 spot for Dylan DeSue? I love it. Empty corner on the strong side of the pick and roll that allowed DeSue some space to work. The late closeout, the balance. Winter slips. Oh, double, double, double. Travel. Wow. It's a turnover. But that's great rotation on the backside. Watch this empty corner. The late rotation, and that time there was a poor rotation and close out by Funk. He gave the middle right up to the Sioux. And then right here, watch the help mm. rotation. That's beautiful help yeah. on the baseline by Timmy Allen. Timmy Allen's been a beast defensively. He's played a lot of minutes coming back from that lower leg injury. And another oh, slip. Car falls slip. down and he throws it away. It's officially a travel. Wow. So on each side, players go down and turn it over. I tell you, it looked like Carr was looking for some contact there. Watch Miles Dredd just right pull here. the chair. Whoop, nope. But he just felt it going down, and they balanced each other out. So here we stay. Penn State still up one. Jalen Pickett back on the floor. Texas snapped that 10-0 run. Pickett. Extra pass. Fuck for three. Missed it. And Hunter secures. Texas dodge one right there. Longhorns can take the lead now. The two seed on the ropes here in Des Moines. 340 left to Sue. To Sue again. 22 for Dylan to Sue. Well, if you try to back Miles Dredd down, now you lend yourself to some pick. Some digs and everything like that. Use your height. You've been hitting that shot all evening. Don't stray away from what's been working for you. Money in the bank. Jalen Pickett playing with four fouls. Pickett draws car, gives it funk. Open for three. In and out it goes. And Hunter up there high for the rebound. Funk got a good look. Whoa. And Nick, listen, go right back to the suit. Figure out where his mismatch is at in the middle corner of the side and get him back inside there. Dredd picks him up. Hunter now. 
10 to shoot. Hunter looking for to shoot. No, he finds Rice. He's got one of the great shot fakes in the country. They're not biting, though. DeSue on the block. Two to shoot. Turn around. He's good. Oh, DeSue having a night. Texas leads it 61-58. He scored the last six for the Horns. Two and a half to go. Each team with a foul to give. Timmy Allen guarding Pickett. Four fouls on Pickett. Kicks it. Dread pass it up. Dread pull up. Mid-range. No. Lundy. Oh, what a play. How about that rebound by Lundy? Keeps it alive. He's got the knack to bounce it to himself. Micah Shrewsbury and Penn State want to talk it over. Hey. Penn State basketball, Dylan DeSue showing up big. Hey, I'm not, I never claim to be the smartest, but I ain't the dumbest. And DeSue is hot right now, so keep feeding him, baby. Keep feeding him. Parents loving it right now. Each team with a foul to give. Possession arrow belongs to Penn State. Micah Shrewsbury just took a timeout. They've got two left. Texas has one. Dylan DeSue on a run here. 12 field goals made. That's the most ever by a Longhorn in NCAA tournament history. Surpassing Kevin Durant, who had 11. 24 for DeSue. Ooh, Penn State and over and back. Oh, my goodness. Winter jumped a line. Dread with the pass and a costly turnover for Penn State. Ooh. You remember the Kansas game, the 10 second call? I do. Little things like that down on Dewan Harris Jr. And this one, a critical possession that you give back. Mm. They protected the ball. Just four turnovers this half, but that was a big one. Yep. Minute 50 to go. Car going to the red car. Off the window. The Longhorns leading score delivers. They're up five. 8-0 Texas run after Penn State went on a 10-0 run to take a three-point lead. Jalen Pickett, guarded by Allen. Those two have been going at it all game. Dread, the Sioux on him. Here's Funk now, quick release, Funk, no. Lundy again flying high for the board, he is fouled. A sixth foul. And Lundy has been terrific on the glass. Well, the good teams make you pay when you turn it over. And Marcus Carr has been talking about this all night. His patience in the pick and roll has allowed the lane to open up. He's been able to get some layups and none bigger than that. Here's Trent three. Missed, missed the three. Hunter, big rebound. Penn State cannot convert. Texas leads it by five. The two seed in the Midwest. Marcus Carr content to dribble it. We're going under a minute. Ten to shoot. Carr finds to sue the hot hand. Oh, and he stays red hot. He's cooking. Dylan to sue. Texas by seven. Next Longhorn foul will be free throws. Penn State will be in the bonus. They switch it. Carr on winner. Winner gets to the lane. Winner with the left hand. Strong finish by Cameron Winner. Five-point game, 16 for winner. Timeout on the floor, Texas ball when we come back. The Sioux, no bucket bigger maybe than that one right now in his career. Longhorns lead it by five. 41 and change remaining in this one. After all the games are over, Ernie Johnson, Jay Wright, Candace Parker, and Seth Davis, they've got all the highlights and analysis inside March Madness presented by Buick. Later tonight, only on TBS. The Longhorns getting great production from Dylan DeSue. Season high, 26 points for DeSue. Has taken over here down the stretch. Texas ball. Penn State does have a foul to give. Certainly would want to use that in case you need to play the foul game. Allen comes out of the back, running with DeSue, gives it up, and DeSue lays it in! The Dylan DeSue game in Des Moines, 28. One off a career high. Horns by seven now. 
Three possession game, Penn State. Desperation mode. Mahaffey lays it in quickly. Penn State forces steal right here. Or a turnover somehow. Ball handlers. Carr gets it across. Texas breaks it. Had a foul to give here. Needed to take that too if you're Penn State. Now, if you need to get into the free throw game, you can do it. Be side out, Texas. Nittany Lions running out of time. 22.7 left. A beautiful execution on the press breaker. They stayed wide, didn't float passes. And one to was able to finish in that one right there. Marcus Carr picked up the foul. Trying to foul to Sue. They're going to foul Sir Jabari Rice, who is an 87% free throw shooter. It's been a quiet game for Rice. He did all his work in round one, but he's got a chance to put this one away here. The one and one here for Sir Jabari Rice. He's made both of his free throws tonight. Call clutch free throws from Rice. Six point game tonight on CBS. 26 children abducted from a school bus and buried alive. A never seen before interview with one of the survivors. 48 hours tonight on CBS. To make it a three possession game. Jabari Rice. Big time free throws. Texas starting to feel it now. Penn State got to go quick. Pick it. Gets inside. Hands up. Misses. And the Longhorns have it. And the Longhorns poised to advance to Kansas City in the Sweet 16. Timmy Allen, a brilliant defensive effort on one of the most unique players in the country in Jalen Pickett. And you know, sometimes the size factor will come back to hurt you, in particular in matchup situations. And with this Texas team, it wasn't just Allen. It was the help defense at times that allowed him to be as good as he could be individually on Pickett. Seven to go. Lundy will fire a three. He is fouled! Count it! Goodness! Seth Lundy hits a three. Why would you foul? A chance at a four point play to make it a three point game. Carr just got up in his landing space. Wow. All 10 points for Lundy have come in this half. Four point game here. Lundy can get it to one possession. You got to put pressure on Texas to inbound the ball and to have to make their free throw. So you got to make this very important free throw. Texas does have a timeout left in case they can't get the ball inbounds. It's going to be DeSue to put it in. Nope. Hunter's going to go to that spot. Got a timeout if they need it. Oh, clock ticks. They just got it in. And a quick foul. 4.1 seconds to go. Carr is going to go to the other end to shoot the free throws. And outside of Jabari Rice, Marcus Carr at 77%. The one and one here. Mom Suzette. Yeah. Watching a pressure free that. throw here from her son. Seen that look many a times <laughs> in that situation by Mama. Not over yet. Two possession game. Boy, you gotta love it when players step up and deliver in the clutch. Well, when you're at home, and you're young, you like you envision yourself either a three-point shot to win or at the free throw line. Now you got your chance to seal the deal. Carr, book it. Back to back free throws, yeah. Mama. Suzette yeah. said, that's my yeah. baby. Look at that. See that focus <laughs> and concentration right there? <laughs> Texas gets their best seed since 2008. 
And it's going to be their first Sweet 16 since 2008. And that is going to do it. DeSue with the rebound. The Texas Longhorns are moving on to the Sweet 16. Dylan DeSue with 28. He scored 10 in the final four and a half minutes, Jimmy. He just took over. Matchups. Matchups presented the opportunity for Dylan DeSue to, to, DeSue to do his thing from the beginning of the game. That may not be the case the next game, but in this one, he needed to be the guy because he had the size advantage and they took care of that. And I love the fact that Rodney Terry in the offense didn't go away from him. The top seed advances, the Houston Cougars. They beat Auburn. The two seed, the Longhorns of Texas.